Hello, I am DJ Hunt with The Boning Company and today I'm going to be going over our new cauldron jig. It features a three vein at once configuration while the knock is still on the arrow. It is toolless and will be uh, pre-assembled from the factory as you see here uh, with the one degree right insert uh, pre-installed. It also comes with a one degree left, a three degree right, a three degree left and a uh, straight insert as well. It features a single adjustable compression ring. It will do everything from a micro diameter to a standard diameter and also up to a 27 diameter arrow. The first thing I am gonna cover in this video is the key to fletching a good arrow. Arrow shaft prep is critical and we recommend using our SSR with warm water and a green scour pad. This will eliminate extra glue residue or oils from your hands or shop. Uh, all boning veins come pre-primed from the factory and there's no need to clean uh, the bases. The first of many adjustments that you can make with our cauldron jig is uh, indexing the knock and its relationship uh, to the index vein of your arrow. Uh, to do this, the red knob on the bottom, you push in and turn it to the next location. The bowstring is indicated by the red line on the bottom. There are six locations in total. Uh, this adjustment can give you perfect clearance between your veins and your rest. The cauldron features a single adjustable compression ring. Uh, to adjust, you grab the smaller base of the, of the ring and twist to the desired location. You have uh, settings for a micro diameter, a standard diameter, and larger diameter arrows. With the cauldron jig, you can also adjust the distance from the end of the arrow shaft to your vein. You not only have this entire slot length, you also have four different positions which move the vein roughly five millimeters either up or down the arrow shaft. This allows you to minimize uh, facial pressure on your veins. The cauldron jig allows you to fletch many different ways including straight, three degree left, three degree right, one degree left, and it also comes from the factory with a one degree right already installed. In order to change the angle which you fletch, simply pop the insert out and install the new desired insert. When you go to install the new inserts, ensure the tabs on the inserts go into the teal stop clip. You will do the all three inserts and you are ready to fletch. Once you've selected the insert, adjusted your knock indexing and put the compression ring where it needs to be, you will uh, fletch your arrow. So you can go ahead and put the veins in the insert. Uh, for this, we will be using the factory setting one degree right with the index vein up. Uh, for gluing purposes, it is easier to use uh, this without the arrow shaft in the jig. We'll put that in once we get the glue on here. Uh, for a standard blazer vein, I use four dots of our blazer bond uh, and just spread it along the base of the vein. Seems to give me a good amount of uh, glue here. So we will glue up all three veins like so, spread it along the base of the vein. And then once you get that done, you'll push on the, the ring here, put the arrow shaft into the jig, close up the arms, and install your compression ring. 
you will want to ensure you use the correct amount of clamp time uh, for whatever glue you're using. In this case with our blazer bond, it is 30 seconds. Um, with our platinum it is five minutes. Uh, we will do this for best adhesion practices. After the 30 seconds is up, we can take the jig or the uh, ring off the off the jig, push down on the base, and have our finished product. Once you've finished fletching your arrows, um, to remove the excess glue from the inserts, simply place them in a jar of acetone. They will uh, clean right up and you will be all set to go on your next fletching adventure. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us.